The Autolog Quick Start Video Guide is provided to you by Javs to illustrate some common features of the Javs Autolog 7 application. This video can be used in conjunction with the Javs Autolog Quick Start booklet provided with your system. To start a session, press the Start New icon. The button will change to Recording Pause. Record indicators will turn red to let you know the system is recording. A session started log entry will be timestamped and the recorder status indicators will also be red. Press the recording pause button to pause the recording. The button will change to resume and a session pause log entry will be timestamped. Press the resume button to continue recording and a session resume log entry will be timestamped. To assign session properties to this session, press the properties icon and the session properties window will open. In the name field, use the auto-generated session name or type in your own. In the type pull-down, select a session type you wish to use. Assigned group fields for that session will appear. Give the session a title by typing directly into the title field. Type in the name of the prosecution. Use a semicolon to separate the names if there are more than one. The defendant. This defendant has been part of another session and the autofill function shows his name. Now the defense. The judge. Since this judge is in the database, we'll just select him from the autofill list. And last, the clerk. We'll use autofill here also. Now press the Save button and the properties for this session have been changed, as indicated by the session name in the title bar. Once a session is started, we can log quick events into the log display. Select the Quick Events tool. From the Quick Events menu drop-down, select which menu you would like to use. Double-click any item in the list and a time-stamped log entry will be made. The selection advances to the next item in the list. Double-click the item and a time-stamped log entry will be made. We can log parties by selecting the Parties tool. This session has defendants as loggable. Select the party's name and double-click. The party event window will open with a default list of events to choose from. Select an event and press the Enter into Log button. A timestamp log entry will be made with the entry you chose. We can also log this defendant by selecting the Enter into Log icon. Select an event from the Party Event window and press the Enter into Log button, or simply double-click the entry. A timestamp log entry will be made with the selected Party Event. Once a session is started, we can add a new note to the log display. Select the New Note icon and the Log Event window will open with the focus on Notes. Type in a note in the Note 1 text box. Select whether it will be public or private. We'll select private. Add another note by selecting the Add Note button. A new note text box will appear. Type in the note. Select public or private. Press the Save button and a timestamp log entry will be made with added notes. The timestamp is when you first initiated the note. A custom log event can be logged by selecting the new log event icon. The log event window will open with the focus on event text. Type in the text you want for your event. Select public or private for the event. Add a note if you wish or press the save button. A timestamp log entry will be made with your new event text.
Once a session is underway, you can review any event in the log display. Select an event and right click. Select Review Event. A review log entry will be made and the review window will open with the name of the session in the title bar. Once loaded, the video will play back from the selected event. Click on the event again and the media will jump back to that point and play. This is an advanced review window, which provides controls for external monitoring. When finished reviewing, close the review window and continue logging. Modes to control camera and microphone sources are found under the drop-down on the main toolbar. Select a mode from the list. This mode sets the session to be private, and two timestamp log entries are made in the log display. A private icon indicates the event is private. Select the drop-down again and return to the normal mode. The session reverts back to public. Two timestamp log entries are made in the log display. An alternate method for choosing modes is by selecting the View menu item and choosing System Modes. A Modes button panel will open. Select a Mode button and log entries will be made. These buttons work just like the drop-down selection on the main toolbar. Locating a session by the session name is accomplished by selecting the search tool. In the category selector, select the name item. Select a range with the time selector. In the search criteria field, we'll type in a partial name for the session. Press the search button. In the search results field, only those sessions containing the text CD will appear. We'll select the date of 712 from the date filter. In the search results field, only the session that was performed on 712 containing the text CD will be in the list. A complete list of sessions are in the Log Today tool. These sessions can be printed to hard copy by selecting the menu item File and then choose Print Report for Today. You can choose to print a log report or a summary report. Press the Next button. Choose to include private events, notes, and private notes. Press the Next button. You will be presented with a list of all the sessions for the day. Check or uncheck the sessions you wish to print. Press the Finish button and the report window will open with all selected sessions ready for printing to hard copy. Press the Print button to start printing. When finished, close the report window. As with printing, the sessions logged today can also be published to external media. Select the file menu item and choose Publish Today's Sessions. The Jazz Publish Wizard will open. Choose if you want public or private media and public or private events and notes. Press the Next button. Select either Optical Disk or Network Share. Choose a Share folder by pressing the Select Folder button. Choose the folder you wish to publish to and press OK. Press Yes if you're sure no files will be overwritten. Press the Next button and the copy process will begin. This process will vary in time, depending on how much media needs to be transferred. When the copy process is complete, the Finish screen will appear. Press the Finish button and your sessions have been published.